you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. So make sure you guys go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. And also if you're interested in getting an on the go tea bottle, we just got some restock. So definitely make sure you guys check those out as well. So thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. Welcome to Lovely News Network. And I have another story that's coming from our first favorite state, Wretched ass Florida, okay? So Florida's definitely on a roll. So if you guys don't know, two dumbass teenagers were sitting there playing in an abandoned bank and they're having a good old funky time. I don't know if they were looking for gold, you know what I'm saying, leftover dollar bills, I don't know. And I'm not gonna lie, I've been in a few abandoned buildings myself, but never one that included going into a damn safe. So what happened is that one of these 17 year olds ended up going into the safe. Thank God the other person wasn't in the safe with him. He was outside of the safe and I wouldn't put it past this teenager if he wasn't the one who locked his damn friend in the safe because you know how kids play anyways the one boy gets locked in the safe and it takes them hours to finally free this boy they're trying to you know basically you know drill and get him out eventually they end up finding somebody who used to work at the bank who knew the code to the safe and they were able to get him out that way this entire situation is a hot damn mess honey and of course it's coming from damn ratchet ass florida y'all go ahead and check this out and i'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary story in hollywood it's one of those only in South Florida stories. In this one, a teen spends hours trapped inside an abandoned bank vault. He has been freed now, but it was not easy. CBS 4's Carrie Codd is live with more on the rescue effort. Carrie. That's right. It was quite a challenging scene for first responders trying to get through a two foot thick steel vault door to try and rescue that teen. They told us that they took breaks every few minutes to ask the teen if he was okay and they said he replied that he was. Fortunately, he did have some pockets of air in there. Now, we are told that um, there's some first responders and police still in here trying to secure the building, but there are no trespassing signs all along the perimeter fence, but apparently that did not deter these two teens from trying to get into this and being successful at getting into this abandoned bank building today. Just before 5 p.m., a teen stuck in an abandoned bank vault in Hollywood walked out of the building, freed after being confined for several hours. We got stuck. Neither of the teens, the one stuck in the vault or his friend who went into the building with him, said much after they walked out. They didn't know that the vault was still active. Uh, playing inside the vault, one of them got trapped inside, and luckily the other one was outside and was able to call 911. A spokesperson for Hollywood Fire said the teen's parents were on scene for the rescue. Uh, it was a reaction of anger. Uh, but yet happiness that he was out of the vault. We're told rescuers called employees of the vault's manufacturer to try to get it open. But it was an old employee of the bank who came up with the critical clue. An old employee from across the street, which the bank moved to, was able to come up with a combination which worked. And police hope everyone heeds the message learned here today. We expect that uh, everyone takes this as a learning experience. And uh, don't play around in, uh, in bank vaults and, and, and don't trespass. Police said it's unclear at this point if the teens will be charged with trespassing. All right, y'all just saw that video. This entire situation is crazy. It makes no sense why these kids were roaming around in an abandoned damn bank, okay? You know, I understand that kids get into all types of shit. You know what I'm saying? Kids get curious and stuff like this. But this was such a waste of city resources. I would not be surprised if they end up charging these boys, you know what I'm saying, for the cost of having the police come out there and get him out of this damn safe. I'm just glad that the kid was okay. Thank goodness he wasn't there by himself. Thank goodness that both of them didn't get locked up in there because had they both been in there, what could they say? You know, who's to say that their cell phones would work or anything like that? So this could have turned into a very, very deadly situation. So these boys better humble themselves and be very happy that they didn't end up on 100 Ways to Die, okay? Y'all remember that damn show, 100 Ways to Die? You know, they're very lucky that the boy was able to run and go call the police and, you know, get him help and get him out of there because this situation could have been a lot worse. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire ratchet ass situation, honey. Once again, coming from our first favorite state, ratchet ass Florida. All right, deuces. Yay! Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.